is 4.30 a.m. and I woke up because I couldn't get something off of my mind. So I, I don't know why these weird things come into my mind, especially in the middle of the night. So please excuse the no makeup, whatever. So <laughs> I need to actually wash my white Converse. Um, they're pretty white, but they're a little bit dirty. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I don't need to wash them so much as I thought so. Anyway, what I need to wash um, is my uh, natural canvas toms. I think that's what they're called, like natural, I don't know. So, backstory here. I have a heart condition which makes my left foot and calves swell. Um, so leave my toothbrush alone, kitty. This is Ghibli the Wonder Kitty. And he likes his fresh water straight from the tap while it's um, going. So whenever I walk into the bathroom, he comes in and waits for his fresh water. Anyway, like I said, I have a heart condition which makes my left foot and left leg swell. You can't go out and buy, you know, a, a shoe that's bigger for your left foot and, and not so much on your right foot. So one thing I've had to learn to do over the years is buy bigger shoes, like a size larger than what I would normally wear. So I just recently bought these Toms and... Um, I've wanted a pair of Toms for like ever, but just never got them. I couldn't justify getting them, um, especially because of my left foot issue. So um, the other day I went to the PX, which is the post exchange if you're non-military, and I purchased this pair of canvas natural Toms. Um, but of course I have to buy a size up. So when I walk, they're size eight. So when I walk in these, they slip off the back of my heel. Um, so what I've decided to do that goes completely against the manufacturer's instructions are, I am going to get these Toms like really soaking wet, not soaking wet, you know, just wet. And I'm gonna put them in a pillowcase and dry them in the dryer. Yes, I know they have a leather insole and it obviously doesn't come out, but um, that's what I'm gonna do. And um, hopefully it'll work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wet my shoes underneath the sink or underneath the sink in the tap and um, then we're gonna go try this out and see how well it works and if I ruin them, I ruined them, but hopefully I won't. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and you're gonna watch me wash them. Mm. Jibbles the Wonder Kitty is gonna help. I guess I'm trying to be quiet because um, it's four something in the morning and, <laughs> and my daughter, my 11 year old daughter, climbed in her bed with me last night. So. I'm not super duper so well I guess I am kind of soaking them. Get it, get it boy. Get him. Um surprisingly oh no I just got what I was gonna say the uh, inside leather insole did not get wet but no it just did. Get it jibbles. And now I'm just kind of going to like wring any excess water off that I can get. Yeah, that didn't help. Ghibli, the likes water. See it, Jibs. so they're super duper wet and um, I sort of like 
squeezed any excess water out of them I could get. And um, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to pop them in the dryer. So once again, super awesome lighting over here. So what I have, I got out of my linen closet, is just a regular white pillowcase, but mine has a zipper at the top. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put my Toms in the pillowcase with the zipper, and I'll show you what I do right after that. So what I've done is I have taken the pillowcase with the zipper at the top, and um, I put the shoes in there and then put it inside the washer with this part out. And the idea here is that they won't be like tumbling around in the washing machine, making a whole bunch of noise, because I've got some hair babies. Come on, kitties. Knock it off. That's Ponyo and Ghibli. Okay, so I'm gonna put these uh, on in the dryer. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in the dryer um, on a normal setting on high or medium heat. I'm, I'm gonna do high heat. What the hey? So I'm gonna put these in the dryer on high heat with the, um, the pillowcase part sticking out so I don't make a huge loud noise. And I'm gonna think I'm gonna put it in there for 15 minutes just to see how that goes and I may need to like do it again for another 15 minutes and I will show you exactly how they turn out for better or for worse okay so behind me I put it on timed dry on high heat and I know that's backwards for you but that's 15 minutes got angry cats over here that want me to feed them and I'm not going to. It's 4.30 in the morning. They don't need to eat yet. But because I woke up, like because my eyes opened, now they think it's time that they should be fed. Mm -mm, kitties. Alright, so here we go. take a while <laughs> hey Lily Lily are you sleeping this is my daughter Lily she snuck into my bed are you gonna put this on YouTube and stuff like you do with everything <laughs> this is it this is the moment that we have all been waiting for, and this is the moment where we find out if I'm a complete idiot or not. There's some debate about that. Hmm, we'll have to see. They're still damp, so I'm gonna go ahead and be crazy and put them back in for like 30 minutes. Well, now I don't know if I can. Heard all the blue spots, my husband left a pin in his work uniform once. Ghibli, Ghibli, this is not for kitties. This is not for kitty cats. Ghibbles, Ghibbles, say hello to the YouTubes. Look, say hello to YouTube. So we're laying down now. This is what's happening. Are you really doing this, Ghibli? <sighs> Ghibli's the wonder kitty. You disappoint me. Alright guys, it is the next morning and my shoes are shrunk. Um, Aren't my pale, turned out perfectly. pale, pale and slightly freckled legs so hot? Perfect. Don't be jealous I ended up guys, not everyone can be pale like me. I ended up for a total of 40 minutes. Um, as you can see, that's what happens to my left ankle. My left foot swells. I don't know if you can see the difference right now. It swells. Um, by the end of the day, it'll be like big. Um, and it's, it's, you can see kind of like right there too where, yeah, due to a heart condition. So there you have it. That's, um, let me show you how it, like when I walk. Da, 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 da doesn't come off my foot before it was literally like almost an inch now what if I do this yes it comes off but before it was like literally an inch 
that came off of my foot every time. Maybe maybe like half an inch. But now I'm walking and there's absolutely no foot slippage. So here, oh, there you have it. Sorry about the messy yeah, wet hair. I just got out of the shower. Um, today is Thanksgiving Day and I'm cooking pumpkin pies and all that good stuff and so I had to be clean in order to do so. So there you go. We have successfully proven that you can uh, shrink your toms by putting them in the dryer and they are still beautiful. They're still perfect condition. Absolutely wonderful. So if your toms are too big, get them wet really good like I told you. Pop those things in the dryer. Don't be scared. I mean, yeah, they're a little bit pricey, but they're a pair of shoes, and mine survived just fine on regular, like, high heat, 40 minutes. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Isn't that what all the YouTubers say? Subscribe and watch all my videos, okay? I'm pretty cool.